Hey everyone, Dockwell here, and welcome to another replay review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Tinker. I actually don't know what the MMR this guy is. Uh, Guardian 3. So it's a looks like this is just a party game here, but uh, it's a Guardian 3 Tinker. And actually, this is a viewer, but this viewer is much better than I would expect a Guardian 3 player to be. I'll just say that I, uh, I saw a few replays and... I don't know, the play seems very, very good. I wouldn't be surprised if um, they're not in Guardian 3 anymore soon. Uh, if basically, if you keep playing this way, you should be out of Guardian 3, uh, Guardian in no time. Honestly, you should be like Legend or something at least. But uh, regardless, I think this there are some good things to say in this game. Some good things to harp on or some mistakes to point out. Um, especially during the laning stage and then later on as well. There's a, a thing that... A specific thing that we'll get to that I do as well. It's something that you seem to do a lot and I do. I think it's a lot of early Tinker players or Tinker players do early on in their uh, journey to learn the hero that um, they tend to do a lot, especially when you first start learning the hero or when you play the hero a lot, you kind of get too aggressive at times. So we'll look at that later. You do a really, really good job of getting first blood. Obviously, that's you and your team. You just do a lot of damage with the laser, so that's great. But what I want to talk about during the laning stage mainly is that you don't... You're not actually using a lot of mana and you're not using your laser to secure a lot of last hits. And basically we'll see that you actually get behind on last hits here to this Void Spirit. And I know Void Spirit has a good amount of damage. He actually has a lot of damage. It's really annoying. But um, you kind of just let the Void Spirit dominate the lane in ways that you shouldn't. Now, you just miss a few last hits here. That's okay. No big deal. Um, the... the the tower pushes, or the, the wave pushes under your tower, so that's great. But then, if we fast forward a little bit, you kind of just are letting the Void Spirit play his game and just last hit the creeps. And you have full mana. I mean, you've had full mana this entire time. You could have, like, lasered him twice already, I think, at least. And you still, you have bottle now. Like, the, the rune is coming up in 45 seconds. You have full mana. You have a full bottle. And you have not used laser a single time. Now, I saw your... A couple other games. I know you like to use your march to kind of, like, just clear the wave and stuff. And I think maybe that's, like, a little bit of a crutch for you. Is like you like to push out the wave early with march and, like, deny them the ability to be in a certain area. But, like, look here. You, you have not used laser or march a single time. There's a range creep that he just got to deny. That range creep was low, like, for, what, 20 seconds or something like that? Where you could have lasered him and then right-clicked. And you finally used two spells here at, like, two minutes to push out the wave and get the the um, rune, and I don't think that's bad. There's by That's not bad by any means. I mean, what you did there was good, but I just think you could have, like, a little bit less health and mana right now, or maybe a little bit less mana, and have him be, like, almost completely zoned out of the, uh, the lane here, because, honestly, you don't do a lot of right-click damage, which is what his little, like, whatever this spell is, um, Resonant Pulse, that protects against right-click damage, which you're not doing a ton of. You're actually being aggressive on him now, which is actually, I think, is really good. But early on in the game, you just weren't really utilizing your resources, utilizing your mana, and uh, you weren't really right-clicking that much in the beginning of the lane. And now we see here, you kind of wasted a bottle charge, and you wasted, like, two bottle charges, actually, because the one didn't refill almost any mana, and the second one you just skipped almost completely because you got this uh, water rune, which maybe he should have gotten. But still, like, you just have so much inefficiency there with your mana usage that you could just... Even here, I mean, you have a soul ring now, dude. Just, like, just rocket this guy. Uh, laser this dude. You're just being very, very passive. I've seen a few other games where you were a little bit more aggressive, and I don't know if it's, like, you're scared of Void Spirit or something, but Void Spirit's a melee hero, man. You can just, like, own this guy. Um with your laser and your rockets. And it's good that you're marching, or uh, maxing out marching the machines first. But the other thing I will say is, we'll fast forward here in the laning stage to something that you like to do, and I've seen this in a couple replays. It's not bad, it's just I think you can learn to uh, do things a little bit differently. So, you're getting last, it's whatever, he's beating you right here. You like to use march right there to clear this wave and kind of get it into the lane as well. I don't think that's bad. I'm not saying that's a bad idea. That's kind of good. But it's five and a half minutes, and that's the first time you really did anything with the small camp. And what you want to be doing with the small camp is you don't just want to clear it. You also want to stack it early and clear it because basically you're just... With the way March works, I know that when March, like, hits a creep, it kind of disappears or whatever. But with the way March works, especially since you're maxing it, you can clear pretty much, like, a stack of this camp with one March. 
once it's level four, I believe. Three, you might need to have to click it a couple times. You might need to like be there to farm it a little bit, or you might need to use two marches. But it's like way more efficient mana usage to farm a stack here. It just is. And so one of the things you want to be doing is stacking and taking that small camp earlier. And what you what you would want to be doing is pushing out the wave and then doing that, which you generally do, I think, pretty well. Like here you do that, but like you miss the range creep with the way you just use that there. And now you go, I mean, you did try, oh, you, you did it on purpose, because you wanted to get this, and it is stacked. But it's like, it's seven minutes in, and you only just cleared a stack there of that. Which I think you did, either, maybe when you uh, used the march there, I actually didn't check. Because there was one time, I remember, I don't know, know if it was this replay, where you actually stacked the camp by using march, which is really good. Um, I think you're doing, you have all the right mindset, you have, like, all the right things you're doing. I think you're just not doing them efficiently enough, and you're not doing them soon enough. So, like... You only took that camp, that small camp, twice because you stacked it once and you used it at like seven and a half, eight minutes. And I think it's just something that on Tinker, you can be doing that much, much sooner. Like, now your problem was that he went on you and you have low health. It's not actually your mana. Like, your mana's been good this entire time. You kind of want to be playing Tinker on the edge where it's like you have like so little mana that you're like kind of wanting to go back to base, but you don't. Like, you have enough to keep farming. And same thing with health. But you're just not using enough of your resources um, to get farm enough, like, fast enough. But you're still doing well. I think, like, in this and every other game that I've seen you play, like, you're farming fast. If we just, like, fast forward here, you're going to, like, get to the top of the CS charts, and you're going to get to the top of the network charts, like, uh, pretty quickly. So, like, you're doing well farming. Like, you now that it's nine minutes in, like, you're clearing the wave. You're farming the small camp. You went to jungle, we saw there once, and uh, know how to you know how to clear both waves, which is good. Now I think you just go for this rune and they gang you. I don't think that's a big mistake. I don't. I wouldn't criticize you too much of that. Maybe try to call for a ward or buy a ward yourself and place it near a rune so that you know if that's going to happen. I'm not going to harp on that too much. But in general, I think you are going... You're doing pretty well in this game. And I thought kind of what I said in the beginning is that you, the way you play these Tinker matches that I've seen, you kind of play them better than I think a Guardian like 3 or whatever player should play. But now we're kind of transitioning to the mid game. You are still farming pretty well, I think. Um, your team rotates for you. That's great. You have a pretty good timing on Boots of Travel. And then eventually, you just, I mean, you just keep farming here for a while. And I think we can just fast forward, like, honestly, really fast through all of this. Because there's nothing much that I want to talk about until you basically get your blink. And, because uh, I mean, you're just farming at this point and doing really well. Like, you're farming enough. I think you maybe could farm a little bit more efficiently here and there, but it's not something I'm going to, like, go crazy over. But now you have your blink, and it's 16 minutes in. And here I want to call something out that doesn't matter here, but it will matter later on. Is that you, once you get your blink, you're blinking, like, melee range to that guy to kill him. I understand it's just one guy. I understand that you eventually get the kill and Mars missed the spear, so it would have been even better. But we'll actually see, if we just fast forward through here a little bit, that later on, the thing that I want to harp on the most, and it's kind of what I was alluding to in the beginning, is that as a newish Tinker player or a lower MMR Tinker player, I do this too, I've done a lot, it's something that I've had to get better at with Tinker, is that you're just aggressively blinking in, even to melee range, when you don't need to do that. And it's one of these things that, in team fights, it's kind of hard, because you don't know, like, how far you should blink, where you should blink, because you want to play that fine line where it's the outskirts of the fight, but you're also doing enough damage. So it is difficult, I get that. But you're just erring on the side of blinking in way, way too aggressively. And I think we'll see that in a little bit, but that was just the first instance of something that it's very obvious. Like, there's no reason at all that you should be blinking melee range there um, to kill that guy. And it's just something that you got to get out of that habit because, yes, it didn't matter there, so you, can't, you could say, like, oh, it's not a big deal, but, like, you just want to be consistently training yourself to not do that because it's going to bite you in the ass later on here and we'll see that but i want to talk about this really quick it's just a little inefficiency i've noticed you do this a couple times is you basically do a couple marches here that like don't even hit these creeps just because i don't think you've learned like the fully i don't think you fully learned like where the creeps exactly are and how far your march goes you see you're back up here and you didn't I mean, you did two marshes. I don't even think you cleared a wave. You kind of did a little bit of damage to, like, two creeps, and that was it. So it's just, like, a small thing. You probably understand that if you rewatch that, you're like, and that's why you TP back up there, because you're like, oh, shit, you know, I didn't even really do any damage. It's just one of those things. I still do it, too, occasionally, when I'll, like, you know, 
do a march and I'm like, oh wow, that march didn't actually do anything. Next time I'll have to like, you know, do a little bit closer up or whatever. Um, but it's just one of those things to think about to like review in your games. Like when did my marches actually do nothing? And then here's another thing that you don't do too often, but it is just something that like when you feel safe, you just don't use your blink. Like there's absolutely no reason for you to be here right now. Because they eventually go on you, and yes, you live, because you have your weaver there and stuff, but, like, there, you have your blink, man. You can just blink into the trees. I would just suggest you always do that. Like, once you have your blink, there should be absolutely no reason that they're even allowed to go on you there at all. Like, none at all. And I know it's one of those things as a Tinker player, you're like, ah, I feel safe. Ah, it's fine. Like, if I just do it this one time, it's not a big deal. But Tinker's one of those heroes that, when you die, it's game-losing sometimes. Like... I'll be in games with Tinker that are super annoying because I'm, like, the only one doing anything, and it's like, we could still win the game, but if I die once, twice, like, it's over. If I die three times, the game is 100% done. So it's just, like, that habit of, like, doing these things, the habit of not using your blink when you should have, even though it wasn't a big deal, and the habit of blinking in too much, it's just going to cost you games that you otherwise shouldn't lose because you're being, you're playing too aggressive, you're being too dangerous. So now I think we, uh... We get to the 20 some minute mark and here's when you start dying and you start dying because you're playing team fights too aggressively So let's get to see what the first one is. I think this is the first one mm. no, It's not here yet. Yeah, here it is So you TP in you know they're fighting you kind of get here a little bit late But you're just like walking in and yeah, you want to like cast march and hit this guy but like dude you're just like kind of like wa walking into range like you're so lucky they didn't go on you there and now you're leashed so this kind of sucks and you're just like clicking um like you should almost never be right clicking like you just got a right clicking that should almost never happen and now you know the the venge is going on you but it's just a venge you're kind of lucky it's just the venge and the rest of your team is doing well but then am goes and feeds you're low health low mana Low health, low mana. Your guy, this guy's like almost dying. You want to save him. I get that. And so you do, like you do a good bit there. That's not bad. But now you just like jump in. This guy's running away. Like you jump into three aggressively there because you're just not thinking. You're just like, oh, I want to help. But you just jump in way too aggressively there and die. And it's like kind of just seeing that, you know, from a bird's eye view, like afterwards, it's like so obvious that you don't want to blink in there. But it's just one of those things that you're not surveying the fight, you're not thinking about the fight correctly, and you're not, like, really looking to play that edge. You're playing even more aggressively. It's not like someone, oh, someone, you know, blinked at you and caught you out of position, or they are, like, hunting you. It's like, no, you just blinked in there to three and died. And, like, here again, you're blinking in, like, way, way too aggressive. Now, I understand you need to have your, uh, your ags, and that really will help. But, like, again, you're right there, like, it's just, you're getting a little bit too aggressive. You do want to use the laser, I know, but it's one of those things that you should just, if you keep dying like this, you should just get your eggs, man, because you're delaying your eggs with these deaths so bad, and it's what's actually making you die even more, because you feel like you need to go in more with the fight. But until you get your eggs, sometimes it's just best to hit rockets from afar. Yes, you want to be able to use your laser when you can, but, like, okay, you, you're about to spawn here. You come back in. Let's see what you do here. Okay, that's great. Use rocket, use laser. You blink out, rocket, laser. This is all really good. I think you're doing really well here. But again, you see that you blink way too aggressively. Way, way too aggressively. And now they're able to come back in. The Chaos Knight is able to stun you, and you just die. Because you just... It's, it's just that you're too aggressive, and I understand what you're trying to do, but like... You just, it's one of those things that you just have to let your team be the ones that are aggressive for you. I know you won't think like, okay, we can kill them, like two are dead or whatever. But your team's not going in, you just can't go in. And the other thing to think about is when, when you're team fighting. Sometimes what you want to do is that, and I, I have trouble with this too a little bit, but what you want to do is actually you want to be in a position where you can cast rocket and then cast laser maybe march if you need to, and then blink out. That's kind of what you want to be doing, where a lot of times you're casting and then blinking in, and then, like, reloading and then casting again. But that's not really what you want to be able to do. You kind of want to, like, blink in, and then let's say you use a rocket real quick. Well, if you're not in position, to, like, if you're in position to laser, but you don't have your blink up, what you want to do is you want to actually refresh again 
rocket, laser, and then blink out. It's like sometimes it's worth not getting all your spells off in order to refresh so that you can insta-blink out so that if anyone wants to jump on you, you're gone before they're even able to. And that's just like a small thing. It's more sort of higher level and it takes like a lot of time to know when to do that. Um, but like these, the mistakes that you were making there for that like five minutes, those few deaths that you had, it was all because you were just playing too aggressive and you weren't letting your team go in for you and you were blinking aggressively and those kinds of things. So I think that's the biggest thing for you to work on is you're a really good tinker player. I think there's some things, obviously some inefficiencies with the lane that you can change and especially getting in those habits of using your, once you have your blink, using it all the time, even if you feel safe, like just use it. And then third is to get used to blinking to the outskirts of fights, um, refreshing kind of even before you use some stuff sometimes so that you can have blink off cooldown so that, you know, you use your abilities and they see you while you blink out immediately. Just practicing, making sure that you're reading the fights better. Sometimes it's better to be a little more cautious and get a good read of the fight and not use your abilities than it is to just like run in and die. And so that's what I would caution you with. That's what I would tell you to improve on. I would say try to look at the minimap more because honestly Tinker is one of those heroes that you should be like constantly looking at the minimap. Like yes, you should be looking at the uh, map in fights, but like you should be looking at the map. Oh, I'm going to cast this. Look down to the minimap. Where's everyone at? Look at the map. Oh, I'm going to cast these things. I'm going to refresh and blink out. Now look at the minimap. Where's everybody at? It's just one of those things that like you should be looking at the minimap even before a fight happens. Like when you're TPing in, you should be looking at the minimap almost more than you should even be looking at the map. So those are all, those are the things that I think you should be working on. That's the advice I have for you. And I hope that was useful. I hope that helped you and benefited you. Um, I hope that benefits other people that are watching this as well. I think um, this is one of those games that's a little higher level, even though the, M the, the MMR is a little lower. I think you're really good at playing Tinker, so it's a little bit higher level advice here. But um, like I said, I hope this helps everybody. If you like this video, always like, comment, subscribe, those kinds of things. It really helps. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.